live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center. This is Weekend Today in New York. Welcome back, everyone. You don't have to rush to the gym to get a beach body like mine. Just joking. Instead, <laughs> skip the gym and head straight to the beach and get your workout on. Joshua Margolis from Mind Over Matter Health and Fitness is here to show us exactly how to do that using what you would typically bring for a That's day right. at the beach. So how do you do it? You're well, heading to the beach and you want to work out. You're right. I mean, look, we're go all going to the beach. We just saw the weather report. It's like 90 degrees out. It's going to get hotter this week. Uh -huh. Why would you want to be inside a gym? Exactly. You can get the same workout in a gym outside. And everything we have with us right in front right here is pretty much all the stuff we lug to the beach. I mean, mm -hmm. we're already lugging so much equipment. We got the cooler, we got the beach bag, we got the umbrella, we got Frisbees, we got the Kadima game, we got the shovel and pail. A little bit of everything. Everything. And if anybody out there has kids, they're bringing 10 times the amount of this stuff anyway. So let's start with the you're cooler. You're dragging it, we're going to do basic stuff. Everybody brings a cooler to the beach. Right. So I'm going to do this first, and you're going to end up stepping up and doing some of the routine. But okay, we'll basically, try. Basically, all you do is you put one foot on the cooler, this is to support you, and it's basically called a cool down or a step up. You bring your leg up and down just like that. Now normally you have this cooler in the sand. It would be nice and stable and sturdy. You get a good workout right here in your quad, glutes, everything is sort of firing right there. You want to make sure you do both sides, maybe about 15 times each side. Nice and easy, nice and simple. It's a great way to get your heart rate going. It's a great way to get a little lower body exercise. Yeah, stuff let me like try that. this out. Yeah. I know Pat is so sitting you, over yeah, there waiting for me to fall. You got the shoes on, so yeah. Ugh. There's a lot of pressure on you right here to do Look it. Look at that so. body. Work it out. Work this it out. He's done it before. He's done it before. We can tell. <laughs> no, so, no, that looks yeah, cool. It, that's what I'm saying. You're dragging the cooler with you anyway to the beach. Why not use it? Okay. Second thing we all have is the beach bag. Now, now this is <laughs> interesting because I want to see how can you work out with that's the beach right. bag. That's right. Now, interestingly enough, I'm probably the only person here that has their beach bag filled with jump ropes, but mm -hmm. that's because that's, yeah, what you that, are. That, that, that's how I do it. <laughs> but basically what we're going to do is you're going to hold the bag like this. Okay. Okay. So beach bag, we normally have what? Sunblock, books, snacks, everything in there. Vodka, a little bit of everything. Exactly. It gets heavy. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a squat using that. Essentially, all you're going to do is you're going to come down like this and you're going to press it straight up in the air. Just watch the lights like right this. above you. Just like that. So now what we're doing is we're working oh. lower body. You got your quads working, the glutes, the hamstrings. And the higher you raise that bag, now you're working your shoulders. So we're yeah, getting you're a trying full to show my body workout. Right. <laughs> raise it a little no, This, this guy, that. DeMarcus, in the gym. We can tell. Look at this. He's definitely no, in the gym. That's so, pretty cool. That's right. Depending on the size of the bag, it could be a really difficult workout. So you, so you want a little weight to the bag. That's right. Okay. That's right. I mean, you're bringing the stuff with you anyway. And the thing about all the stuff in here, if it's heavy, just take out a couple bottles of sunblock or take out the book, take out something. Okay. So we're going to switch over here. We're going to get to this bucket. Now, this is going to be easy for you because we don't have any water or sand in it. But essentially, <laughs> this is not just an item for a little kid. Okay. It's also for adults. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab that with both handles and comparable to what we did before, except this time you're going to come down and you're going to swing it up in the air. Swing it up. So now you're working a little bit lower like just that. Cracking up laughing. Now, if he had water in here, this would be a lot more difficult. Check him out. Check him out. You can't spill the water. That's the thing. But you, you want water? Or you want sand? Water or water. sand. Okay. Now, it's up to you. Obviously, you want to get that wet sand in there. It'd be a lot heavier. Okay. But something like that, it's easy and simple to do. So you could even ditch that down. I dig down it. Right I dig there. it. I'm going to take that from you. The umbrella. The umbrella. Now, if you're smart, you bring an umbrella to the beach. Why? Because it protects you from the rays, right. the you know, UV damage, things like that. But what you're going to do is we're going to do something called umbrella action which is a lot better than it sounds. Okay. So you're going to put that around behind your neck and kind of let it support a little bit on your shoulders. What you're going to do is you're going to twist to one side like that and then back up. Oh, so okay. what you're doing is you're trying to work a little bit of the oblique each side, side to side, just like that. So this is what you're I'm going to see this on video here. on YouTube. I hope not. Oh, well, here's the thing. Okay. We're at the beach. We're all wearing bathing suits. We want to look our best in there anyway. So another thing you could do for this as well is just a stretch. So you're okay. going to put it back behind here, and you could do a twist I side like the to twist. side. Nice and easy. Now let's have some fun real yeah, quick. That's right. Now last thing we're going to do is we're going to play a little Kadima right here. Yes. Which not to brag, but I used to be big back in the Jones Beach days. Used to be the man. Right used to so be the man. I used to be the man. So I'm going to try to rekindle some of that day. magic right here. So all we do is we hit it back and forth to each other. Uh, we're going to work on it a little bit. Pat, and what it is is a up. cardiovascular exercise. Well, there we go. And the thing about Kadima is the worse you're at it, the harder of a workout it is because you're chasing ah. the ball back and forth. So, so it's something it pretty simple to do. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Pleasure. We appreciate you for coming and thanks for sharing thank those you. great tips. Well, more news and weather when we come back. Stay with us, everyone. Cool, dude. Thank you. I worked out well, Mark. <laughs> <laughs>